All right, welcome back, everyone. If you remember in the last episode, we had successfully created a subscription in our Stripe dashboard, but this is not reflected in our database. So that's what we're going to solve today. If you remember in our .env, we have the Stripe webhook secret key. This is what's missing. Stripe currently has no way of communicating back to us when this transaction takes place. And so that's what we're solving. So to get the secret key, go back to your main window and then actually go to the developers here. And we're going to click on webhooks. And then we're going to add an endpoint. But the thing with this endpoint, it actually has to be off your local host. It actually has to be like a valid URL. And so the way I solve this is I use something called ngrok. Ngrok is a, a neat little tool that allows you to like easily provide a local endpoint and expose it to the internet. So anyways, I'm not going to go through how to install it, but for the remainder of this episode, I'm going to assume you have ngrok. Now that we have ngrok installed, remember our server, we run it again, is on port 3000. So all you have to do to expose this to the internet is say ngrok HTTP 3000. And now here is our new endpoint. It's forwarding all of our server to this particular endpoint. So we can add that here. The endpoint we actually want us to navigate to, we actually want Stripe to talk to, we haven't created yet, but we will soon. And that's gonna be API slash Stripe slash web. And then we're actually gonna to wanna to add a couple events here. So type in subscription. So we wanna check subscription created as well as subscription deleted. Click add events and then add endpoint. With this in place, go to your server directory, API, Stripe, and create a file called webhooks.ts. Sorry, just webhook.ts. This is going to be the file, the endpoint that we do all of the communication from Stripe to us. So first, let's just do a couple of imports, Prisma client, Prisma client, as well as Stripe from our server slash utils slash Stripe file. Cool. Then we're going to just do our new Prisma client, as well as we're going to get our runtime config. Oops, use runtime config. Um, I actually forgot one thing. So we have this endpoint. Make sure you get your secret. This is going to be your secret key and add that to your end file. Something I do want to quickly mention though is this URL. See here on ngrok. If I were to turn off this ngrok and then do it again, the URL actually changes. So you see now it's 01F3, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas before is this. So just realize that if you ever turn off your ngrok server and have to redo it or re run this command the url is going to be different and you're going to have to update this endpoint the secret will be the same so you don't have to worry about changing any of this let's go back to webhook.ts so again this is a nitro endpoint so we're going to do event handler and this is also going to be async event um we're going to do something a little differently so remember in our other endpoint we had a body that we used to read body from this one, we actually want to use something called read raw body. This is a utility function provided by H3, which is like I think the underlying utility functions of Nitro. Um, and then this actually provides the body of the request and returns encoded raw string or buffer if encoding is falsing. So by adding this false, it turns the, re the return value of this body into a buffer. And so this is just requirement by Stripe. When we eventually send this body, over to them, they expect a buffer value. And so this is how we do that. I'm also going to do a couple of let variables. I'm lazy with TypeScript on this one, so I just do any. And then we do let subscription as well as let status. And then we do something called const signature is equal to get header event stripe signature. I guess I could add this here, but it's just another like stripe specific demand. Um, stripe is sending us the stripe signature. Uh, there's probably like a unique value that's provided from them and they use that to verify when we do future things related to this webhook. So now we're going to just check if there's no body, we'll just return an error and just say invalid request body. And we're going to do the same if there's no signature, return error invalid stripe signature. So just some housekeeping, making sure these are valid prior to relying on them. Now we're going to do a try accept, or try catch, sorry. We're going to say our stripe event is equal to stripe webhooks dot construct event. We're going to pass the body. I'll actually do this body signature. And we're going to use our runtime config here that we defined above. 
Are we going to pass it our stripe webhook secret key? Now, if this doesn't work, we're going to say const error is equal to create error. This is provided by Nuxt or Nitro. We're going to say status code 400, status message. And we'll do webhook error. Oh, and then we'll do a return send error event and error. You know what, I'm actually, I like this a lot more than this, so I'm actually gonna do the same thing here. I'll do here, okay, and just for our body as well. Cool. So we just constructed the event that Stripe's webhook sent us. So if you remember, we're listening to these two events. We're rebuilding it. We're asking like, what event did Stripe just send us? And so we can actually, well, we're not going to do a switch statement on that event. So we'll do Stripe event dot event, and we're going to create our cases based around these. And so we'll do a case subscription created, as well as a case for this one, which is the same, just deleted. Okay. Let's fix the. All right. So what are we going to do when a subscription is created? We're going to get our subscription from Stripe event that data dot object, and we're going to update the user's account. Where Stripe customer ID is equal to subscription dot customer, and then data is subscribed is true. And that's it. When it's created, we're going to go and query our database and find the account that has the same customer ID as this subscription object that's passed in our event. And we're going to set this is subscribed to true. Now, what about when subscri subscription is deleted? We're actually going to do the exact same thing. But is subscribed is false. And then we also need a default case. Default, I'm actually going to just, I'll just do a console.log. And here I say unhandled event type stripe event dot type. So this is going to be ran if for whatever reason <clears throat> the stripe event is not subscription created or deleted. Uh, this should never happen, but it's good to have, I guess, just for logging and debugging. And then I just add a received true to this endpoint. Cool. <clears throat> cool. With this in place, um, oh, status. Looks like I'm not using that anymore. Cool. So this should now just work. I'm going to go back to our web browser and just refresh. And let's go ahead and click our buy plan button. Let's do the 4242-4242. And then this could just be anything. And when I click subscribe, this will give us success. Let's just navigate home. And now let's just double check our dashboard. It does create a new transaction and then we go to our Prisma database, is subscribed as false. Well, that's no fun. Why did that happen? So I did get this error, webhook error, no signatures found matching the expected signature. Uh, I think the reason this happened, let's do, let's restart our server. Oh, there is a Prisma import error. Okay, I see what I did wrong. So I was doing a switch statement on the dot event, whereas this actually has to be on the dot type. Okay, with that in place, with that update, we should be able to buy our plan, pop in our four twos. Subscribe. All right, now we should see a lot of successes here because I've been testing. Now let's check our database is subscribed is true. Okay, now we're subscribed. And uh, that's all we got for the, today's episode. I hope you learned a lot. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.